this is another thing that I've done instinctively. What I've done is I've used what I had in the fridge. So I had one leek, I had some pak choy, I had some really nice, cute, small uh, peppers, the sweet peppers, and I had half an onion. And so what I've done is I've chopped up the half an onion and stir-fried it with the turkey mince. Now, turkey mince is really dry, so I've added just a touch of oil so and uh, nothing else. Uh, it's, I have a really good pan, so I've just added that so that the turkey doesn't dry out. Um, and once I've stir-fried that, I've then added the leeks, and I've added the pak choy and I finished off with the sweet peppers just given it a quick fry now I, I, I then you, you know you don't want your shepherd's pie or the base really dry so what I've done is I had um, a a bottle of pesto that was almost finished so about a tablespoon of pesto left basil pesto so I've added that in I've seasoned it up with a bit of dry jerk seasoning mix and I finished it off with a tablespoon of um, Maggie's um, roasted with balsamic sauce and what I'm trying to do is just to create a sauce that is not dry um, a base that is not dry and then I'm also trying to create some flavor and of course I've added a little bit of salt so here we go so what we've got here is our beautiful turkey mix and when when I when I cook and when I cook from instinct I also see it in I, I see what I'm doing so I knew that I wanted this colorful base with my lovely burg, burg of pan but we'll talk about that another day so I've got this really colorful base and it is actually tasty I've tasted it when you cook you taste so I've tasted it and then what I'm going to do is just finish it with a topping and what I've done what I did was I had sweet potatoes I had four sweet potatoes I had one small squash and now folks this is squash season this is it's it's coming up to the 31st and there's pumpkins and there's all types of squash use squash in 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 a different way think of it differently so what I've done and you can see in the color here I've got some white and then I've got my um, sweet potato so I had sweet potato and sweet potato can be quite a watery so when when, I, when I'm when I'm preparing sweet potato apart from fries which I don't make very often um, I tend to bake it when I was at home um, when I was younger, they would put sweet potato, wrap it up and put it in... Um put it in an underground, like the, the, like an oven in the ground, so you'd have this hot heat in the ground and they'd wrap all these sweet potatoes in coal. So what I've done is I've taken to bacon, so these are a bit of the seeds, but they're alright, they're not going to kill, kill us. So what I've done is I've just baked my sweet potatoes um, for about one, one hour and a bit this morning at about 180 degrees um, and I baked my little I had a little pumpkin but it's more a squash and it was a white one and I've just removed the skins from them and I've just mashed in fact I didn't have to mash because it's really soft I just used a spoon and I've put mixed those together and I've seasoned them with a bit of Maggie's hot and sweet sauce basically because I want some flavor in my mash but I also want to enhance the sweetness in the sweet potatoes so that's why I've used that and this is the riskiest part of what I'm doing this morning I had some leftover halloumi cheese and I tend to pan fry halloumi cheese but I've decided that I'm using the halloumi cheese for my topping now I know how halloumi cheese um, works it's a bit plasticky and whatnot so I'm hoping that in the oven it'll It'll do something and we'll find out. So when I say I cook by instinct, this is part of my instinct that I should use the halloumi cheese this way, but we'll find out if it works. So that is a quick one for Sunday lunch and I will come back and show you how it is, how it went. So I reckon that about, it's going to be at 180 degrees. The ingredients are cooked. We're just trying to get it heated through. So I reckon in about um, 35 to 45 minutes, I'll be back. Okay, it's been one hour and a bit, and I left the food, so somebody else had to rescue it. But here you go. Okay, I think the halloumi worked. What we'll go for next is the texture. But this looks really fantastic, and now we're just going to... Just going to cut into it. Okay, that's a nice crispy top we've got there. And just lift this out. Oh... Look at that. Look at that. Okay, onto the plate here now. There you go. Okay, so we've got our beautiful... Can you see that? Right? You should see my face as well. I'm really smiling because I think this, this has turned out looking really well. You can see all of that there. Okay, look at that. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do, as I always do, because I'm good like that, and it's really helpful for you, is taste it on your behalf. I'll try and be honest. If it doesn't taste nice, I'll tell you. Oh, I think this experiment as well. We've got a bit of sweet, we've got savoury, and then just when you've forgotten that you've put in some ashake chilli sauce, you just get that heat. Ah. Enjoy. Try it at home.